This huge box just showed up and I, I'm super excited to see this piece that I've recently ordered that's going to be added to my collection. I'm so ready to rip into this box and, and check out the condition of it, but I thought I'd let you join in and watch in the process. So let's get into it and see what's inside the box. So let's cut into this thing. I think I can open it here and slide it right out onto the table. Thing is so big they had to custom make a box to put it in. Oh wow. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Sony DT30 in the box. Can you even see it? Look at that. Sony DT30. Still has the sticker on it. It's like brand new. It has been opened. It's box has been opened. It's been taken out of the box. But if it's ever been used, that I don't know. All right. Oh, what's it gonna be? So excited. All right, got the big box out of the way. Now let's get this unwrapped. Oh, here it is. In the original box. Sony SL8200. Look at that. Wow, Betamax player from 1978. Beautiful. Let's open it up. Oh, here she is. Look at this. She has the paperwork with it. The ready reference cards for the SL8200. What to do prior to use, how to do the basic functions like playback. Check that out. Operating instructions. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, let's see. It's got the serial number in it, 16847. We'll make sure that matches the machine. The limited warranty. I doubt the warranty is still valid. Gotta let it sit for a while. Let's not plug it in right away and test it. Wait about an hour and a half to two hours because moisture could condense on the heads. We would not want that to happen. Here's a serial number card. 16847, just like it said in the book. Beautiful. Now you may be looking at this and thinking, hey, I've seen you with one of these already. Don't you have one? No, I do not. I have the 7200, which only plays beta 1. The 8200 is the first time you were able to play beta two. So this machine should be able to play beta one and beta two. So I'll be able to actually play pre-recorded movies on this, which is just movies you would have bought at the store already on a, a cassette. 7200 would basically only play what was recorded on it, what you recorded off of the TV. It would not play any movies same goes with the 6200 that I have in my Sony LV-1901. But I'll talk more about that in a future video. For now, let's get this one out of the box and see what kind of condition it is, is in. Right now I can see it's pretty dusty. There are some minor scratches and scuffs. So this is, isn't brand new. It has been out of the box, was likely used for, for a while, which is fine. It's still a beautiful piece. 
So I'm gonna pull it out and then we'll look at it some more. Now, before we look at the player much more, let's also look at the other box that was in there. It was for the digital timer, the DT30. This is what you would use to hook up to the machine in order to set a time for when you wanted it to record. So let's see what the timer looks like. Still has the operating instructions for the timer in here, which is really cool. Look at that. It, it's not a flip clock, it's a, it's a roll clock, but it is beautiful. I'm guessing this thing was also used. It does have some dust accumulating on it, but it is in super nice condition. And so it would sit on top of the machine. You would plug it into the wall and then you would actually plug the machine into the back of it. And this that's how when you set the time that you wanted the program to start, this would be the actual time. So this is a clock. And this would be the timer that you would be setting for when you wanted the, for a program that was coming on you wanted to record. Let's say it was coming on at 9 p.m. You would set that. You would turn it to timer set. And whenever this clock reached 9 p.m., it would trigger your machine to turn on and start recording. So this is a beautiful combo. Let's take a closer look at the machine now. So as you can see, this SL8200 is, is pretty dirty. It's got a lot of dust and dirt, but cosmetically, it's almost perfect. A little cleaning is gonna go a long way on this machine. There's no major dents or scratches. You see the wood on the side is not broken or chipped. Looks the same on the other side. Really nice wood grain. So all it's gonna need is just a little cleaning, a little scrubbing, get the dust and dirt off of it. There's our serial number, 16847. Match what was in the books and paperwork we pulled out of the box, so that's good. It is numbers matching. And you'll see this sticker back here on the back. Ace Electronics, this came from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And you can see, this may be the date of purchase, August 16th, 1978. This, is, this machine did come out in 1978. This is probably when it went back for service the first time, August 2nd, 1979, so like a year later, had to go back in and get serviced. And then almost a decade later, over a decade after it was originally bought, it went back in again on November 7th of 1988. So that's pretty cool. Kind of have a, a record of when it went in and got serviced. And so that may point to this machine having some issues. I'm not sure. Or maybe after over a decade of use, it was just time for a new machine. Maybe somebody wanted to go to Super Beta or Hi-Fi. And it was time for this old machine from 1978 to be put away, put back in the original box kept not gotten rid of and now it's in my hands so there she is the sony sl8200 betamax player with the dt30 digital timer that goes along with it this is a wonderful piece to have added to my collection absolutely gorgeous as soon as i get a chance to clean it up test it and repair it i'll show it off even more but for now thanks for stopping by the basement Hope you enjoyed the video and continue to appreciate these old VCRs.